Good morning, friends. It is Crystal. Welcome back to my 12 days of Vlogmas. So this will be day three of the 12 videos that I have planned for the month. I'm hoping to be sharing at least three videos each week from now until Christmas. So thumbs up if you are enjoying it so far. Now today is Monday the... It's the fifth and it's kind of a free day for me. So it's kind of nice. I don't have any official plans. I'm thinking I want to get some things done just around here, get everything and I cleaned up from the weekend, which you've already seen me get started. This rug, by the way, oh my gosh. Look at him. Charlie, are you sleeping with your keys? I uh, just vacuum this. This rug is not my favorite. It will be going in my office at the new house, but I'm still a newbie to area rugs. We had carpet in our other house, so I'm getting used to this. And I'm glad I tested this one out. And I know I don't want to have this in our main living space. It sheds like crazy. It's awful. That red throw blanket also sheds like crazy, which is why it is in the basket right now. It might just be a basket blanket, but... Yeah, so anyways, we got everything all tidied up from the weekend, so that's really nice. But I just have some laundry in the dryer that I need to fold and put away to feel like I can move on with my day. It's just, I don't like to know that I have laundry waiting for me. It's a thing I have, and so anyways, I'm gonna do that, fold my laundry, just tidy up. We decorated Christmas cookies yesterday as a family, so you know, sprinkles, frosting everywhere. I'm finding sprinkles in the couch. Um, just all over the floors and so yeah just cleaning up slowly from that disaster we had a lot of fun uh, the cookies turned out okay they taste good they don't look like amazing <laughs> it's more about the process and decorating you're just spending time as a family so we're just gonna stick with that and so yeah I'm gonna fold my laundry I'm thinking actually I want to take you today if I can get that done, I want to take you over to this local store. Um, she has it all decorated up for Christmas. I have not been there in many years as she's had her Christmas decor out. Just look around, see if there's anything that catches my eye or gifts or anything like that. So I thought this would be a really good day to do that. Um, I'm making my finishing decor touches around the house here in preparation for my little Christmas cabin home tour that will be live Saturday morning. all folded put away have a new <laughs> load going and then I also have the dishwasher running which I'm sure you can hear it would be most ideal to run it when I'm not at home or when we're all gone so we don't have to listen to it but 
it's an older model. I don't know, I just get so nervous that something would happen when we're not here. So I only run it when I'm at home and I get to just suffer through the entire washing cycle, which is not a big deal. But now I will never take my quiet dishwasher for granted, ever. Also made my bed this morning, which is very exciting. I am going to show you the kids rooms in my Christmas home tour. They've done a little bit of decorating. You can hear the furnace. I'm sorry about that. Um, so we are going to show their rooms, which is where my little Walmart flock tree went. They stole it from me. I actually spend a lot more time in this room than I ever did at our other house in our bedroom. And I think it's mainly because it's just right off of the living room. So it's still on the main floor. I'm still a part of what's going on and it's so cozy in here at night. And I also think too, a part of it is because I just, I need a change of scenery. I'm out in that main room like all day long. So it's nice to just come in here and relax at the end of the day. But anyways, I would like to say thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. I've shared them now on my channel for my goodness, probably well over a year now. They are a monthly fragrance subscription service. I just received my latest perfumes and wanted to share with you what I picked out. I've been really into throwing back some of my scents lately, trying ones that I used to love like years ago. Oh my gosh, Clinique. Clinique is something I used, I think in high school and maybe throughout college as well. And so I saw that Clinique, this one is Happy Heart. I used to love Clinique Happy back in the day. Who else was one of those? Or maybe you still do, but Clinique Happy Heart was one that I wanted to try out for this month. It has scents of mandarin, cucumber, primrose, water hyacinth, Hyacinth? I don't know how you say that. I'm terrible in blonde woods. I really like fresh, fruity, floral, sweeter type scents. They're definitely my favorite. But with a subscription service like this, a monthly service, you can like select different ones based on the seasons or months. So that's kind of fun too. But the other fragrance I chose for the month is Bella by Vince Camuto. I've actually never tried this one, but I was intrigued. And it has hints of nectarine, jasmine amber and bergamot now the the fragrances themselves come in this new packaging they just started this last month i love the colors of the dispenser they're magnetic so inside you'll see your fragrance and you have the twist here to open and close your fragrance and it sprays right right out of that nozzle there very generous amount of fragrance though, enough for at least a 30 day supply. And if you don't use a ton, it definitely would last longer. Now next month, I'm really looking forward to trying something a little bit different. Do you say it L'Occitan? I think that's how you say it. I'm not super fancy or anything like that. I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. But there's one that has hints of lemon, Nairoli, and vanilla. It sounds super nice and just fresh to start off the new year. It's called Nairoli and Orchide? I don't know. Don't, I'm, I'm, like I said, I am terrible at pronouncing things. But anyways, I'm going to have a link down below in the description box. If you click on that link, use my code CRYSTALTERRA2. It will save you 55% off of your first month with Scentbird, making that fragrance only $8. Dishwasher's still going, unfortunately. <laughs> I gave Charlie a bath last night and his curl, he has one little curl sticky nap, don't you? Are you so cute? Are you excited for Christmas? My husband will be home for lunch today, so I'm trying to hang around here to see him. He's going to be going over to talk with our contractor after he eats about insulation. We just got a text that it is happening later this week, so he just needs to go over a few things. Usually I'm involved in that, but I'm like, insulation, you know, you can, you can do that part. I'll do the fun stuff. But anyway, so I'm just going to hang out at home. I might actually eat an early lunch. I'm also thinking I might do those nails. I have not done those yet, but I have, I think, enough time to do that before we need to leave. These are the Olive and June nails from Target. And they're extra short. So usually when I buy these, I do trim them down a little bit, but I'm curious. I'm hoping I don't have to on this one, but I need them to be just nice and short. In the car about to leave, I did end up doing my nails. There they are. Nope, not gonna focus. Hello. 
There we go. I did have to shorten them just a little bit, but they turned out really good, so we'll see how long they last. Probably not too long, but yeah, I struggle with keeping my jacket clean. Makeup always seems to get on. I just washed it yesterday, and it looks dirty already, but anyways. I am going to stop at the new house with my husband, though. Even though it's insulation, I feel like it's just better to have both of us there so we can make a quick decision, especially with the contractor, all of us in one place. It's just so much easier than thinking on it or talking it over. We'll just do it there. So anyways, I'm going to head there. I, it should probably take, oh my goodness, probably hopefully half hour or less. And then we'll head to my little decor store that I wanted to check out. I'm really excited to go there, I'm sure. So it's in like an older house. She actually has two houses. I think they're older, but she has it set up as a shop. And I'm so sorry about the traffic going by. It is what it is at this point. So, okay, let's get going. I love that, isn't that pretty? Really pretty. So cute, let's go inside. So sweet. Oh. House of Dreams is what that store is called. And as I was walking through, I just couldn't help but think how many hours were put in to decorate that store. Like so much. And those Christmas trees are just beautiful. They're covered, but they're beautiful. So Gosh, yeah, I definitely need to make this a yearly tradition. So maybe every Vlogmas we'll go to the store. But I have my little bag of treasures. It's actually a good size bag of treasures. But I had to walk around like three times just to take it all in. And I honestly don't think I saw it all. But I had to get going because I do need to go pick up the kids. I picked up actually quite a bit of greenery that I'm going to be adding in. I'm not going to share with you how I decorate with it today. But in my Christmas home tour coming up, you'll see all these little additions around the house. So this one I fell in love with. <laughs> she had like stems to go with this. So if I really like this, I might actually run back and grab a few stems. We'll see as I get this stuff put out. But this was $20, $21.99. Just a really beautiful flocked garden or garland garden. But I love just how it has a lot of movement so I can easily position this around decor and it'll look really pretty and this will also work really well if I want to do winter decorating which I haven't quite decided I probably will do some sort of winter decorating here because um, once I take down all my Christmas it's going to feel so bare here so that'll work really well for winter decorating 
as well, well, a lot of this really. I picked up two of these stems as well. They're just like really basic greenery, winter greenery. There are a few like little pine cones on them. But again, I like to find pieces that aren't super stiff. I like how they move and drape on by themselves because I'm terrible at doing any sort of arrangement. So I grabbed two of these. These were $5 each. Now this was kind of interesting. So this was $12.99. I have little mini trees that are very similar to this. But this, what do you, oh, Charlie has a bone. But this is just like a little arrangement like this. That's the bottom. So you just set it like this or prop it on top of something. And I just thought this was super unique. I have nothing like this. It has a little bit of glitter and flocking to it. And I wouldn't say glitter, it's actually just flocking. So again, perfect for winter. Oh, there's some little jingle bells in there too. So find a fun place for this. And then one more little arrangement here greenery wise I really like this was $29.99 so this was the biggest item that I purchased but I just thought it was so pretty and so I grab it it's a like berry greenery arrangement in a ceramic little pot and where is this from I can't I don't know I feel like I've seen this somewhere before maybe not it's a very good size though and I have a really good idea for this one. So just adding in a lot of greenery here to finish out my decor here. As I was walking through the store, I was kind of getting sad. I just miss all of my Christmas decorations. Oh my gosh, I, next year is going to just be amazing. It'll probably be my biggest Christmas decorating year ever just because I didn't get to do as much as I usually do this year. So that, and then I got two other things I need to unwrap. I thought these were really fun. She had them kind of hanging by the door on like a big garland, but you can buy them individually. So I bought one of these red bells. And it's, I mean, it's a good size. This would definitely fit on a tiered tray, but I think I wanna hang these two together. I also grabbed a big white one. So yeah, these will be fun. Maybe I need to go get one more. No, I don't need any more. We'll figure something cute out with those. Ooh, yeah. I promise it'll look cute. <laughs> so that's everything I got from the store. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that was really fun to get in there. I did get a package. I stopped at our P.O. Box on the way home. We're having all of our mail forwarded there until we move. And I just happen to have a package from Pam, a subscriber. So I'm gonna go grab that. We'll open and see what she sent. I heard some bells jingling around in there. So it tells me that there's something Christmas inside. Totally forgot to tell you the price on these bells. The big one, $10.99. Yeah, $10.99 and then $7.99 for the little one. She had a green one. Almost grabbed it just to decorate in threes, but I might try to find a different type of bell to go. I don't know. I just wanted to stick with two for now. So not bad prices at all. Okay, so let's talk about Miss Pam. Pam, thank you. She also sent me a birthday card, would have been last month for my birthday with a Starbucks gift card in it, which um, is amazing. So thank you. And now she's sending me this package. Let's see, can you hear that? Some fun stuff in there, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's wondering <laughs> Oh. Pam, she sent crafts for the kids. They will be so excited because we, I've started a little craft drawer here for them and they're running very low. Just wait, Charlie Bear. So she sent them like the little wreath bead kits. Oh, they're gonna love that. And window clings. I bet you they will do those tonight when we get home after I go get them. Ooh, and ring pops for them. Thank you, one for each of them, four. Charlie, I'm sorry, those are not for you. Oh, a little Merry Christmas rolling pin. Ah, no, Charlie. For the tiered tray, I suppose. Thank you. Stickers, oh yes, the kids. Ethan's weakness. Charlie, no. I also bring these to church and just let them stick them on paper. It's a good way to 
um, keep them busy during church and quiet. I'm saving the bells, I'm saving the bell. Oh, there's candy and more chocolate in there. There's some gold coins. She sent, <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> she sent a garland, or like, yeah, a beaded garland. This is so fun, I had no idea this was going to be like so many things in here. Little Merry Christmas sign. Or ornament, I guess. Make sure you try that. It'd be cute on like a little wreath too. Yeah, so she has this all wrapped up nicely. There are little bells, like a door hanger. I think they're, yeah, they're silver, perfect. One last thing is wrapped up here. It is uh, soap, a bar of soap. Ooh. Black cherry. <laughs> you guys know me so well. I just can't. This is my all time favorite Bath and Body Works scent. There's only one scent I could buy for the rest of my life. This is what it would be, the best. Thank you so much, Pam. <laughs> this was so unexpected, but I appreciate it so much. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna put a lot of this stuff away or at least get it out of Charlie's reach and then we will go pick up the kids. cozied in for the night, sunset, Matt is playing keyboard in his room. He's actually going to be playing piano at our church Christmas program here in a couple weeks. He's going to be singing, or not singing, he's going to be playing happy birthday at the very end of the program. Yes? <laughs> but it's time to get Charlie some food. Are you hungry? Are you so hungry? Is it time to eat food? No, it's not time to eat food. It's not time for us, but it is time for Charlie. You know when he's hungry because he will just sit and Mom. stare. Okay, my friends, I'm going to end today's video right here. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. We have music concerts, band concert, basketball practices. We have a lot going on during the night this week, but tonight is like the one exception where I do not have to run. My husband's doing it instead. We also had a very enlightening dinner conversation about insulation and spray foam, if it's worth it or not, because it's quite the investment. So we're gonna do some research on that here later tonight because we need to decide by tomorrow which direction we are going but just want to say thank you so much for joining me for today's video do not forget to check out that scent bird link down below in the description box but thanks for watching i'll see you in my next one good night